Okay, sir. Oh, we're all set to go, are we? We're, we're, we're rolling. Are we? Yes, we are, sir. I see. Okay. So, whatever, whenever you'd like to start. and. Uh, well, we're going to start right now then. Okay. Well, this one is called the bra. I ain't too much for shopping or going into town. Unless it's cattle shipping time, I ain't too easily found. But the day came when I had to go, so I left the kids with Ma. Just before I left, she asked me, would you pick me up a bra? Well, without thinking, I said, sure. I mean, how tough could that job be? And I bent down and kissed her and said, well, I should be back by three. Well, I done the things I had to, but then I started to regret ever offering to buy that thing. I worked me up a sweat. But I went into the ladies' store, my hat pulled over my eyes. You see, I didn't want to take a chance on being recognized. But I went up to that sales clerk. Now, I didn't hammer haw. I told that lady right straight out, I'm here to buy a bra. From behind, I heard some snickers, and I turned around to see. Every woman in that store was a gawking right at me. Well, what kind would you be looking for? Well, I just scratched my head. I'd only seen one kind before, and, well, I thought bras was bras, I said. She gave me a disgusted look and said, well, sir, that's where you're wrong. Come with me, I heard her say, and so, like a dog, I tagged along. She led me down this alley where bras was on display. <laughs> I thought my jaw would hit the floor when I saw that lingerie. They had all these different kinds that I had never seen before. I thought I'd go plumb crazy before I left that lady's store. They had bras you wear for 18 hours, bras that cross your heart bras that lift and separate, and that was just the start. They had bras you wear like you ain't wearing one at all, and bras that you start out with to train when you're small. Well, I finally made my mind up, picked a black and lacy one, and told the lady, bag it up, and figured I was done. But then she asked me for the size. Now, I didn't hesitate. I knew that measurement by heart, a six and seven eighths. A <laughs> six and seven eighths, she said. That really can't be right. I said, oh yes, ma'am, I'm right positive. You see, I measured them last night. I thought that she'd go into shock. Must have took her by surprise when I told her that my wife's bus was the same as my hat size. That's what I used to measure with. I figured it was fair, but if I'm wrong, well, I'm sorry, ma'am. This drew another stare. Well, by now, a crowd had gathered, and they all was cracking up when the lady asked to see my hat to measure for the cup. Well, when she finally got it figured, I gave the gal her pay, turned to leave the store, tipped my hat, and said good day. Well, my wife had heard the story before I ever made it home. Oh, she'd talked to 15 women who had called her on the phone. Now, she was still laughing, but by then, I didn't care. Now, she don't ask, and I don't shop for ladies' underwear. Now, that's the last poem I'm going to do today, but right now, I'm going to shine up my boots. Gonna ride into town, gonna scrape up twenty dollars, gonna throw it around, gonna buy me a dance, first pretty lady that I see. And when our dance is finished, I'll say, Will you marry me? Thank you. Thank you. That should come out all right, I think. Oh, I yeah, hope. It looks, yeah, no, it looks good. It looks really good, sir.